Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Let's take a quick trip to Michael's. I have a few craft supplies I need to pick up for my dollies. As you can see from my list, I don't need a lot of things, so this was a very short trip. First off, I needed some steampunk charms for a doll collab that I'm doing. Um, I will put the hashtag here at some point, doodly doo. I also needed some black fabric. I just need maybe a half a yard at the most. That is for another collab that I'm doing with Dolls Rescue. That's my Malefic Maleficent collab. And of course, that means I need black thread. And then I'm just in the mood from some, for some colorful fat quarters. So I'm curious to see what type of fabric they have in their fabric section. In my Michaels, the sewing area is in the back of the store and it has cross stitch and other type of needle art stuff like that. You can see here, this is the fat quarter area. That's kind of it. That was pretty much all the fat quarters. So not a huge amount. They also had fabric by the yard that's prepackaged, similar to Walmart, but I think Walmart, my Walmart anyway, has more of a selection. They have some black fabric that I was looking at, but you can see it's, they went, the smallest one of cotton fabric that I wanted was two yards. I don't want two yards of black fabric, but anyway, there was also a lot of empty shelves throughout. So that was kind of odd to me. They do have your basics. They had some sewing machines. They had a pretty good selection of embroidery thread and other notions, lots of scissors, <laughs> uh, lots of thread as well. So that was very useful. Uh, it seemed like they were more designed for people who are doing cross stitch and embroidery than actually people who are sewing. But you can see they have quite a few tools, cutting mats, like I said, a lot of scissors. So uh, that was that was interesting. Obviously though, I don't need scissors. They're not on my list, but boy, they had a lot of scissors. And then I noticed that they have, you know, kind of a mixture of items as far as buttons and other notions, but it's almost like there's a little bit of everything, but not enough of anything if you are sewing. So that was kind of, you know, a little disconcerting. It's been well over a year since I have been to this Michaels. And yeah, so I was really hoping for more. So after checking out the sewing section and I did purchase a few items. So at the end of this video, just hang out and I'll show you what I ended up buying. But then I moved over to the scrapbooking section, followed by the jewelry making section. Both of them were right next to each other. I was looking for steampunk sort of charms like gears, clock faces, that kind of thing for the September 25th hashtag doll challenge steampunk collab that I'm doing with everybody. And anyone who wants to join in, feel free to do so. Just use that hashtag and you can be part of the collaboration. But anyway, I was really impressed with the joy making section. Again, there were some blank areas, but generally speaking, they had tons of beautiful beads, um, really nice supplies as far as uh, beading and bead stringing. I wasn't real impressed as far as charms, as far as steampunk charms. I've got to say that was a little difficult. I did find something. And again, I will show you at the end of this video, but if you're into jewelry making, yeah, definitely check out Michael's jewelry making section. Quite impressive. In fact, I was really tempted to pick up some items that were not on my list since they had some cute Dalmatian items, which of course would have been perfect for when I did the Cruella collab. And there was a lot of very cute fall related charms and beads as well. Well, it's super hot. I'm back in my car. Mm, they had a lot of empty shelves. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with my Michaels, uh, and I was very disappointed with the sewing section there, but let us see what I ended up getting. I did, of course, find a few things. <laughs> not everything I needed, but I think I found enough to satisfy my little shopping trip. Um, but yeah, I, I have to say, I wonder what's going on with my Michaels. Uh, why are there so many empty shelves? Hmm. All right, guys, I'm back home, and I'm going to show you the really tiny haul, <laughs> I guess you can call it a haul, that I got from Michaels. And I have my Amy here with me because I wanted to see what some of this fabric might look um, on her as far as scale goes. I'm not 100% sure about a couple of the, the uh, fat quarters that I bought. So we're going to use her so I can just double check on that. Um, kind of late, I mean, I bought them. But I think they're going to be okay, but I thought it would be a good idea to kind of double check before I get too far into thinking about what I'm going to do with them. 
So yeah, I've got some black thread. I was hoping, if you remember from the video, I looked at some black fabric. Um, I really wanted to get like maybe half a yard or something, but they only had two yards. I, I just can't see using two yards of fabric that wasn't even at a really great price. And it was kind of weird feeling fabric. It wasn't just like plain uh, black cotton. So I guess I might have to trudge up to my Walmart. Um, I'm not really keen on my Walmart now because they uh, make you do self-checkout. And I always have horrible luck with self-checkout. It never works for me. A lot of times the items I buy, they for some reason they're not heavy enough for the scale or something. So then I have to go get some help and it kind of defeats the whole purpose and makes me feel like a moron. So um, don't know if I'll go there, but uh, I do need some black fabric, but I, at least I have black thread. Okay, that I got. I was looking for some items that I could use as part of a steampunk collaboration that I have going on for the month of September. The last Saturday of the month for September 2021, my uh, group that I am organizing is doing a steampunk collab with uh, any doll of your choice. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have my choice be a Blythe doll or not. We shall see. But um, And by the way, if anybody's interested in being part of that, if you are a YouTuber, uh, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to be part of it, um, just let me know and I can give the information. But basically we have a every month at the end of the month the last saturday of the month we post a video related to a theme and this month's theme is like i said is steampunk last month's theme was uh i think was it family or history i think yeah last month was family no last month was history the month before was family i can't remember what the next month what the month of october is going to be but anyway let me know um, so I did find these little wooden lightweight, they're actually probably just cardboard, I maybe they're wood, they might be wood, they're really thin, um, these would work okay, I don't know if I'm going to leave them as is or maybe distress them a little, I don't know, we'll see, so that's the only thing I could find, I'm going to dig around in my jewelry supplies and see if I have anything else, I definitely have things like chain that I can use, so that should be okay, alright, so here are the fat quarters I got, this I thought was really cute and it obviously looks like a mermaid. Yeah, so see this, this scale would look really good on her. Very, yeah, I could come up with a really cute little dress for my tan blouse with this type of fabric. Very cute, very tropical. And on the same tropical kind of wave, I got this pineapple fabric. Again, yeah, so this, see like the pineapple. And it's a little bit big for her top. Like if I wanted to, so I'd have to I'd have to think about that. If I use this on a dress, it would probably have to be like one, a dress that has one full piece, not a top and a bottom. Not, usually I have a, a top that has like a gathered skirt area. This wouldn't, this is kind of too big for that. But if I find a dress pattern, I do have a couple of dress patterns that have um, like that are longer, that are just all one piece. So I could use that. Uh, with the Blythe dolls. And then I have, <laughs> so, you know, Tapping Flamingo, my sister Tapping Flamingo has her channel, and then of course I know Marna loves flamingos, and I have a soft spot for them too, and yet yeah, kind of big, but I don't know, maybe I could do a dress with just one big flamingo on it, that would be kind of cute, I might be able to wrangle that with a Blythe doll. And then finally I got this, which is not tropical, but I love the bright colors in this, and it's got butterflies, I mean, yeah, look how cute. This, I think, would really be cool if I made a dress for uh, summer, my 20, year of 20 years of love um, anniversary Blythe doll. This would probably look amazing on her. Look at all those great colors in there. All right, so, yeah, that's kind of it. I just got a few things of, of uh, fat quarters. A couple of fat quarters can never resist those. They were $1.59 a piece. Not a great price. Didn't have a coupon. One of those things I hadn't really planned on. Um, I, I knew I've been wanting to go there for a while, but I didn't think ahead and get a coupon, but you know, that's okay. I only spent, I spent less than $15 for all this stuff and this will be part of a collaboration and these are just going to be some cute little doll dresses. I haven't bought any fabric in, in like, I don't know, five minutes. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, I like what I ended up with, but I will say I was kind of disappointed. It seemed like Michael's, uh, had a lot of empty spaces around, uh, especially in the sewing, especially I thought it was, I remember there being a little bit more in their sewing 
area and I have not been there honestly in probably over a year because of the pandemic but um, I guess I didn't miss anything huh all right you guys thank you so much for uh, stopping by and spending a little dolly time with me and going to Michael's with me you have a wonderful dolly day bye bye